In my capacity as a National Register reviewer at the National Park Service or at a State Historic Preservation Office, I have detected that there are certain patterns, almost formulas, that are used in creating that narrative statement of significance that is the meat and heart of a National Register nomination. In a nomination, you are claiming that a property is important for a particular reason. There are four National Register criteria, and within those criteria, there are many potential areas of significance. So any National Register nomination is going to identify which National Register criteria or criterion is that the property meets. It's going to identify which area or areas of significance that the property meets. So the narrative is going to follow that as an outline. It's going to tell us that a property is significant, for example, under Criterion A for its association with the educational development of a specific community. So the formulaic aspect is we're going to get a, a background of the history of that community as it relates to education. When did the first schools appear? When did the school in question appear? What area of the town did it serve? What sort of educational uh, trends might have been reflected in it? For example, in the 1920s and 1930s, there was a new thought, what was called progressive education. This was uh, reflected not only in how students were taught, but also in how the buildings themselves were built to reflect these ideas. So you can demonstrate through the physical qualities of the building how it relates to these new trends in education, as well as explaining how that education worked within your community.